right, guys, let's go through the settings that you need to change to enable AI in your ExoCAD. The first thing is you need to be on a newer version of ExoCAD, uh, build 9036 or later, be in the USA. Um, you need to be active in your subscriptions. So then you're going to go ahead and go to your settings and go to cloud and turn on cloud AI features or cloud features and hit save. You're going to close dental DB and reopen it. And when you reopen it, you should see an AI design button now. In addition to that, there's some settings that we need to change in the dental CAD app. You're going to go to your tools settings. The first thing that I would probably do while you're in here is go to head, go ahead and go to your add on modules and turn on use auto articulation. That's going to save you some time and automatically do dynamic articulation. Secondly, what I think you should probably do is go to the cloud button and it's going to enable you now to activate all of the cool new AI features and both the cloud connection and in design. I just turned everything on there and now we, sh we unlocked basically um, some amazing features in ExoCAD. So let's go through um, AI crown design. So you're going to go ahead and load a case and hit AI crown design. And what you're going to see is when the files come in, you're going to now get to the crown AI design. And you basically, you can change parameters, but the default parameters are actually um, very well thought out. So here in the parameters tab, you could customize it to whatever you want. However, I find that there's absolutely no need to, to customize or change anything. So I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and hit request cloud calculation. And in about a minute and 30 um, seconds, you're going to see all these kind of things happening behind the scene where it's putting in a tooth, adapting the tooth and all that kind of cool stuff. And you'll see the tooth just kind of fly in. And what you do is you could either reject it and get a new AI proposal. You could go ahead and edit it or you could click your happy with it and hit next. And when you go ahead and hit next, it's going to bring you to the margin tab and it's going to ask you to either verify or mark your margin. Um, here I'm marking my margin. I'm going to go ahead and hit next. And now um, it looks like it's going to automatically adapt the tooth, go through dynamic articulation, fuse down to the margin, and it's going to auto cut the occlusion. So there we go. That was the AI design. And the whole process takes about three minutes. And you do get some really kind of cool proposals that seem to really belong in the patient's mouth. It, it seems to um, understand the patient's existing anatomy and in, in, in cusp planes. I'm going to go ahead and show you the automatic model generation feature. I just went ahead and hit quick model and look in about five seconds, the entire model is made. Um, this is the most cool stuff that's coming out of ExoCAD. We'll go through some small design features coming up next.